Tesla has long been the poster child of the electric vehicle revolution, but in recent times, the auto giant's number one position has been challenged by none other than China's NIO. Now it appears that NIO is choking. Tesla, by increasing the delivery of its electric cars? Should decision makers at Tesla be worried? With NIO surpassed Tesla as the number one EV maker in China and the rest of the world, Watch this video till the end to see how NIO continues choking Tesla on deliveries. At the time when NIO was founded in 2014, Tesla was already a global household name in the EV market. But over the last five years, the Chinese carmaker has grown in leaps and bounds to the chagrin of Tesla. Today, NIO is not just a brand lurking in Tesla's shadows, but a company that is matching Tesla, car for car, pound for pound. Take a look at its ES8, for instance. The car has witnessed an increase in demand by Chinese buyers. The manufacturer is also receiving offers for other brands, and the good news is that the growing demand and deliveries are having a positive impact on NIO stocks. While Tesla's deliveries in China have stalled, NIO has managed to maintain momentum by increasing its deliveries over the last few months, and the impact has been stunning. For the first time ever, the market saw NIO stocks outperform Tesla stocks. While NIO stocks rose by 33%, that of Tesla dropped by 3%. In the past, the reverse was the case, but these changes did not happen in a vacuum. Underlying issues made this possible. One of the major changes that EV makers have to contend with is the issue of material shortage, especially EV batteries. Without batteries, electric vehicles are as good as useless. Since the start of the year, NIO's fundamentals have continued to improve by the day, but Tesla's has been flatlining. The root cause of this is simple. NIO has been able to gradually increase its deliveries by sourcing the parts required to build its cars. The company that once struggled to stay afloat is now growing in size and capacity. The good news for NIO is that it delivered a record number of vehicles in June, which caused its stock to rise. June deliveries made it first. NIO was able to break the 8,000 units mark with a second quarter delivery hitting 22,000 cars. The rise in output proves one thing, that NIO is no longer a pushover in the EV industry. It also shows that the market for EVs in the Chinese market remains very strong. Furthermore, NIO's success also shows that the shortage of semiconductors that affected the supply of EVs at the beginning of the year is already being corrected as the supply chain continues to stabilize. Shareholders are also happy because this news impacted Tesla's shares favorably, which saw a rise in value by 0.6%, and Li Auto also saw a rise in value of 2.4%. It's a good result. Not only does it demonstrate that NIO's production capacity is continuing to grow, it shows demand for EVs in China remains strong. The delivery figure also strengthens the case that the semiconductor shortage that limited global automotive production in the first half of 2021 is starting to fade. The latter two conclusions are good news for all EV manufacturers. Tesla stock has risen 0.6%, while Li Auto was up 2.4%. For NIO particularly, its market capitalization also hit $87 billion, which is more than General Motors' $86 billion. For NIO to surpass a famous US brand like GM appeals volumes. For now, the Chinese EV maker has not told the rest of the world just how many cars they will deliver by the end of the year, but analysts are looking at an end-of-the-year projection of more than 100,000 cars, which will be slightly higher than the 93,000 cars delivered in 2020. One of the major ways NIO was able to increase its deliveries in China is by expanding the capacity of its factories, but that is not the only way the company plans to fight for a larger market share. The company is looking to expand into Europe, and the signs are good. Not too long ago, NIO got an important European license to start selling its cars in Europe. The first units are expected in Norway by September this year, and from Scandinavia, more cars will be shipped to the rest of Europe. This new deal signifies two critical signs. Firstly, it proves that NIO and Chinese technology has now gained acceptance even in the developed West. Secondly, it opens up new market opportunities, especially in Europe, with buyers that have a higher per capita income. With the opportunity to sell more cars to a wider market, NIO will be able to establish itself not only as a Chinese brand, but an international brand. 
The dramatic stock value improvements witnessed in recent months is only going to continue. As it stands, it is no longer debatable that NIO is Tesla's biggest rival in China. Founded in 2014 in Shanghai, the publicly traded company first released its first EV model, the EP9 two-seat car, on the same day the brand was established. Over the last few years, it has positioned itself as one of the leading EV brands in China with further releases of the ES8, EC6 and the ES6 models. Now there are plans to expand its model class by releasing its first ever sedan, the ET7, to complete with Tesla's Model S. Besides, NIO is also expanding its utility arm by establishing extensions like the NIO Apparel, Service Centers, NIO Power to handle its long network of battery swap stations, among other service extensions. There are many angles to NIO's recent growth within a short window, besides the quality of its EVs. One major advantage that NIO has over Tesla in the Chinese market is down to the subsidies it enjoys from the Chinese government. To be fair, NIO is not the only car maker enjoying such subsidies since other Chinese owned car makers are enjoying the same. However, we see these subsidies having a positive impact on the fortunes of NIO. Currently, government subsidies apply to cars that are priced under $46,600, but not cars that are above this price. The government's willingness to transform the economy and to move away from diesel engines has led to new moves to encourage local production of EVs by Chinese car makers. Despite some of the incentives given to Tesla, it does not seem that the US car maker enjoys the kind of incentives that Chinese manufacturers enjoy. Even then, it does not matter much because many Tesla cars cost more than $46,600. However, the mere fact that NIO enjoys this advantage in the local market remains a big advantage. Another reason why NIO is growing in leaps and bounds is because it has embraced battery swap technology. It's in this area that the Chinese EV maker beats Tesla hands down. This arrangement makes it easy for drivers to replace old, worn-out batteries with new ones. Battery swapping has become a core feature of NIO's business model and it is working wonders for the company. Tesla, on the other hand, abandoned battery swap technology several years ago and went for longer-lasting batteries. On one hand, longer-lasting batteries represent value for money, but on the other hand, they are far more expensive, especially for drivers outside the West. These and more are some of the reasons why NIO was able to push its market share over the last seven years. Despite the recent increase in NIO deliveries, Tesla remains the number one EV brand in China and the rest of the world. The innovative ingenuity of Tesla makes it the best brand for electric vehicles and it does not appear that it will fall from its lofty position anytime soon. One would expect Elon Musk and his engineers to come up with better and more efficient models to counter the threat of NIO and other Chinese EV makers, particularly in Europe. Tesla's gigafactories in Europe are a testament to its long-term vision for the European market. So folks, there are some of the reasons why NIO was able to increase its supply over the last few months in a move that has seen its stock price rise in value. But do you think that NIO will supplant Tesla as the number one EV maker not just in China but the rest of the world? Let us know what you think by dropping a comment below. Also kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel for future video updates. Cheers!